This is the engine bay of the VK and uh, that's a 600 CFM I think the term is, holy carburetor. Now we took this thing for a drive yesterday and what we've noticed is there's a little thing about Bob there which is coming up and hitting the fuel line. So we've really got to cut that off so it gives free flow to the accelerator. I'll go in closer and let you have a look at that. Okay, this is the naughty bit on the side. That thingy there is coming up and it's hitting this as a fuel line. Now it's hitting the fuel line and it's causing the throttle not to open properly. It's also coming up and it hits that pipe and it's actually scratching it and eventually it's going to wear a hole in it and that's not going to be good news. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a hacksaw and we're going to cut this off around there and the funny thing is that we, there's a HQ holding Kingswood and uh, it's got the same carburetor and it's got the same modification which has been done by the guy who who used to own it that installed the previous carburetor. So there you go. I'll show you this. Is, I'll have a picture of this when it's done. Okay, the delicate operation's going on here. We've got a rag there to try and catch the metal filings. I don't know whether we need to or not, but we're going to do that anyway. So, here we go. Well, it's cut off now, and it's not hitting anything. It's moving freely. So, what we should do is take it for a drive and see how it goes. The air cleaner's back on. We took it for a drive and it's gone really well. The thing doesn't stick anymore. However, one thing we learned is if you're going to cut something like that, grab, a, grab it also with a pair of pointy nose pliers and that'll give you a lot better success. And also with this, I'd like to have a look at this spring here because I think that's a bit too tight. But anyway, that's a job for the future.